Hi, today we're going to talk about Naviance. Please remember that this is a district purchased program and all tasks are mandatory for our students. When you go to your internet browser, please type in student.naviance.com slash HarlingenHS and it will take you to a website with a picture of our cardinal. Your username is 19, 20, or 21, the last four digits of your student ID, the first two letters of your first name with the first one capitalized, and the first two letters of your last name with the first one capitalized. Your password is Cardinals1 with a capital C. Today, we are going to be doing the Build or Edit Resume task. When you log in, you can scroll down to where it says Important to Do Tasks and click the Build or Edit Resume. On the next page, to the right of the red arrow or underneath it, you'll click Build a Resume. The purpose of a resume is so that you can go and look for a job or so that you can apply for college and show them everything you have experience with and that you're capable of doing. If you look under the red plus sign, all of these are sections that you can add onto your resume to make sure that you look as best as possible. Today, we're going to add in education together, but please remember that you can always go in and update it to reflect your experiences. So today, we're going to do education. In the name of the school, you're gonna type Harlingen High School. Your location is Harlingen, Texas. Your grade is whatever grade you're currently in, whether you're a sophomore or a junior. Today, I'm going to say that I am a sophomore. Your start date is when you first started at this school. So for sophomores, it's going to be August 2018. For our juniors, it will be August 2017. For the end date, you can select to present because you're still attending this school. Once you are done, you can click add. You can also select to add a new education and add in Dr. Connell Freshman Academy. Location is Harlingen, Texas. Grade would be nine. And then the start date would, have, would be whenever you started at that campus. So for sophomores, it would have been August 2017. For juniors, it would have been August 2016. And the end date for sophomores would be June 2018. Remember that if you are a junior, you're going to select these dates to be a year prior. And you can hit add. So that's the only section we're going to complete together. In order to be complete with this task, you will now go to the top and select print or export resume. If you are on a phone, at the top of the page, there will be three dots. You can click the dots and then select this option. Once you're in the print or export resume tab, you're going to click the red plus sign. You're going to name your resume. The best name for your resume would be some combination of your name or of your initials. You can select a template press continue and then you're going to select the sections that you'd like to appear on your resume. Once you do that you can click save resume and now it's complete. Once you see the screen bar you can go ahead and log out. But please remember that at any time if you want to go in and update your sections you are more than welcome to add more experiences. If you have any questions or would like to print out your resume, you're welcome to come by 6103. After you've completed that, you can log out. 